Keep in mind now, the situation is this. Mackenzie Mason for Lisbon, who was so crucial, has fouled out of the game. And not to mention the fact that Kayla Maslowski has four fouls. You know, the other thing, Chad, when you think about do you foul when you're up three, sometimes it, if you don't, it comes back to bite you. This ball tracked down by the Blue Devils. It is controlled by Bell. And now outside to Smith. Here's Perez to Pisano. Carly Pisano feeding it right of the lane. Perez in the paint, puts it up and in. Looking to attack, another easy bucket. Puts them up to great response by Lisbon. 85-83 is our score. Rovnak feeding it to Cross, who hit the big three, whistle, and a foul. Cross has been absolutely dynamite, attacking the rim, drawing the contact, and getting herself to the foul line, where she's 11 of 19. Free throw up, and good. She bent those knees and said, give me a little bit of English off that rim. This for the tie. Good. And there's a little bit of rhythm right there and a little smile for Coach Mosh. 85-85 is our score. This is Perez outside Pisano. Top of the key, it's Smith. Reversing the tracks, Smith feeding it to the free throw line. Over to Bell, putting it up off the rim, no good. Ball out of bounds. It'll go to Columbiana. Lisbon faithful, not happy now. You know, that's one of those calls where she was probably getting pushed out. I do think it went off her. Uh, Lisbon doesn't get the call that they were looking for. Ball in the hands of Rovnak. Double dribble called. Rovnak turns it over. And it goes right back to Lisbon. A little miscommunication. Have to make sure you're the available receiver. 85-85, ball knocked out of bounds again. And it is off Columbiana's Grace Hammond. Great job by Hammond, not pouting. Going back on defense, trying to get the deflection and the turnover. Ball is into Pisano. Pisano onto the right wing. Pisano whips it back up towards the top of the key, out of bounds. So these two teams with some turnovers here in the extra session. And Columbiana now will have it with a chance to take the lead. Miscommunication. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Know exactly what you're trying to run. We're going to see if Klamana is able to do this, be effective, and get the shot they're looking for. Mozlovsky cut off. Gives to Hammond. Hammond dribbles up at the top of the key, handing off to Rovnak. Down to 215 and counting. Mozlovsky. She can hit from a country mile away. Back outside Hammond. The Clippers now running some clock. As Rovnak loses the handle, taken away by Perez, ahead of the pack, Smith puts it up and in. That's a special look by Perez. Just eyes in the back of her head, finds it for the easy run out, up to 87-85. To the near side, it's Rovnak scooping it up and in somehow. Rovnak making up for the turnover, gets the bucket, ties it back up at 87. Tie ball game. Bell over to Smith. Smith trying to take it baseline, cut off by Fulham. Bell whips it back to Pisano just inside that free throw line. Over to Perez. Perez raises up short. Fulham with the rebound for Columbiana. Slicing her way through the defense across the time stripe into the forecourt. Fulham, top of the key, cross. Here is Rovnak firing for three. She knocked it down. I'm not sure Coach Michelle wanted that shot. He's going to give a little smirk and a smile, a little heart check, and they're going to make it, and he'll say, I'll take it. Clippers with a three-point lead. There's a takeaway by the freshman. Big play. Down the floor, Mazlovsky. Three ball in the air. No good. Traveling called on Mazlovsky, who was open. Coach Michelle wanted them to slow things up. A quick trigger there, though. Quick trigger, 
and understanding the situation, tempo of the game, you start to feel the intensity, the enthusiasm. Sometimes you've got to pull it back a little bit because you've got 50 seconds, you're up three, you don't need any more points. You need this clock to run out. And you can see right here, Coach Mosh looking at it. Not sure he wants it, but I love the confidence. I love the stroke. Knocks down to three. Keep in mind, in this ball game here tonight, Will, this Columbiana group who comes in 19-0 overall, 6-0 in the ITCL white tier, trailed by 12 at one point. You know, anytime that you can get in these situations, you're down 12, you really like to see what your team has in the tank. And we've seen a lot from this Columbiana team, just the tenacity, the intensity, the never give up. You know, six of 15 from three hasn't been a big part of their game, but nothing bigger than that last three by Rovnik. Scoreboard reads one timeout per side. The ball will belong to Lisbon. It is Chloe Smith. Perez brings it across the time stripe into the forecourt onto the right wing. Perez bouncing it to Bell. Bell picks up her dribble. Skip pass to Smith. Lisbon really can't you know, get married to the idea that they need to make a three. Get the first available, look to attack, get something easy because you've got some time. But what a play by the freshman. Again, excellent job by Hammond getting the deflection, being in the passing lanes, and being active. Clock winds down to 26.1 seconds remaining. And so now Lisbon is without any timeouts remaining. One timeout left for Columbiana. So again, it goes back to that idea, Chad. You're up three, 26 seconds. Do you even give them the opportunity to shoot a three? Do you kind of let them run a lot of little bit, contest a little bit, and when they put the ball on the ground, make them shoot the free throws and not give them that three opportunity like Columbiana got at the end of the game. So Coach Mosh probably talking about that. Again, everyone has coaching philosophies and what they believe in. We're going to see how this plays out and what Lisbon can dial up to probably get Pisano a pretty good look at the hoop. Boy, this has been an outstanding ball game. The pace has been tremendous. The competitiveness, the big clutch shots, the drama. This is everything you could have asked for. And we still have 26.1 seconds remaining. It will be Lisbon Blue Devil basketball. Allie Davis to trigger it in. Lisbon out of timeouts. 90 to 87 in favor of Columbiana. Five seconds called. Turnover back to Columbiana. I'm not sure if he was counting in twos or what, but that was very quick. Clipper basketball, three-point lead for Columbiana. Romack slicing her way through. And right now, Columbiana trying to take advantage of the opportunity. 20 seconds left, up three. St still a lot of basketball game left. Free throw up, free throw no good. 20 and a half seconds left. Ready, aim, fire, short. Lisbon, no timeouts left. Carly Pisano has it on the right side, raises up for three. She knocked it down, and we're tied at 90. Clipper basketball down the floor, cross, cross to the line, cross to the lane. Ball is saved, clock expires, and with that, we will head to double overtime. Again, another opportunity. You have to foul up three situational things. Neither team does it. We're headed to double overtime. And we knew it was coming. Pisano understood what she needed to do, just like Cross in that first overtime. Buries a big shot. Gives her 31 on the night. Four steals, five assists. 
five rebounds. These girls are putting on a show. Cross gets the look, doesn't get it to fall. Great job of Lisbon not fouling. Everything we thought, Chad, and more. I'm looking at our officials out here, and all we can do is smile. This has been unbelievable. Yeah, what a great treat, not only for the people here. Hopefully, we've got a lot of people that are tuning in live, enjoying the show. Four more minutes left to play. And we're still not done. 90, 90. You know, and Lisbon holding their own. You gotta remember, Mason fouled out what, in the end of that fourth quarter, a big intricate part of what they're trying to do. Opening tap of double overtime, knocked out of bounds, it'll go to Lisbon. You sit here, look at it, Chad. Both teams at 90, uh, double bonus. Columbia has two timeouts, trying to create some havoc. Both teams playing at an extremely high level. 90-90 is her score. Pisano, long long, down the floor. Perez, drawing the contact, and the foul. It'll be called on Fulham. There hasn't been a charge called all night. They've been consistent, and that's going to be five on Fulham. So Fulham's night is over. She heads to the bench with a scowl on her face. To the free throw line will step Izzy Perez. Coach Michella will decide who's heading in. Tessa Liggett checks in. 90, 90. Perez, no good. Perez is one for four from the stripe. Now one for five. Off the miss, Clippers with a rebound. It is Rovnak. Rovnak controlling things at the point. Just underway in double overtime. This is Liggett. Holding the ball. Working it over to Hammond. Grace Hammond whips it over to Maslovsky. Off the dribble. Near side Hammond. Thought about the three. Penetrating. Hammond puts it up off the rim. No good. Rebound. Alexa Bell of Lisbon who walked with the basketball. And that turnover will give it right back to Columbiana. Coach Michelle making sure uh, one thing he understands is you know, defense is a democracy. Offense is a dictatorship. You, know, you need to have the right people shooting at the right time. I'm going to write that one down. That's exactly. <laughs> you're right on point. Muzlovsky puts it up and in. Great job of running the shot out of the side out of bounds. Going to get a foul call right there. Not a whole lot of contact. And we're going to shoot some free throws. Muzlovsky has just fouled out of the game. I'd say that's a pretty big point in this game. Be interesting if we get another look at that foul call right there. There it is. Again, there's been a lot of contact all night. She she tripped over her own feet right there. There's not a, not a foul there, but the call was made. You've got to move on, and you've got to make sure you've got some other people to take control of the game here now. So Maslovsky gave Columbiana a two-point lead and then promptly fouled out. So to the free throw line will step Carly Pisano who had that amazing three at the end of the first overtime period. Her free throw is up, and it is short. Pisano now six for seven from the free throw line. Trying to cut it to a one-point Lisbon deficit. And she missed them both. Rebound down to Alexis Cross. Cross penetrating. Cross puts it up and in. Cross going coast to coast in style. 94-90. Inside of three minutes left. Hammond comes up with a loose ball. Clippers with the steal. Coach Michelle understands 
You're up four now. You've got to be patient. Everyone's got to be an available receiver. Get yourself on balance. There's no need to be overly aggressive. And we're going to see Lisbon have to come out and put some pressure on him and possibly try to create that turnover because Columbiana going to be real content right now. Mariah Rovnak into the paint, feeding it in the corner. That shot up, no good. And the rebound down to Alexa Bell. Coach Michella not happy just to our left with that shot selection. Nearly a steal from Hammond. Pizano races it ahead. Lisbon down by four. Puts it up and in. Plus the foul. Again, there's a lot of continuation right there. Pizano's going to get the bucket and the foul. And you can see where the foul happens. Happens about right there. Gets a couple more steps. Uh, again, Lisbon gets very fortunate. But the shot at the other end is probably the one that cost him that shot. Everyone's got to be on the same page. Free throw, no good for Pisano. Loose ball, picked up by Pisano. Pisano puts it up and in. We are tied at 94. And right now, Columbiana with the four-point lead. Now you practice these special situations, the type of shots you want, who you want shooting the ball, how many timeouts, who's possession arrow. Everyone's got to understand it and know what they need to do. Off the dribble, Rovnak. A whistle and a reach-in foul against Lisbon. It'll be tagged to Izzy Perez. So to the free throw line will step Mariah Rovnak. Two shots upcoming. Fourth foul on Izzy Perez. Free throw, perfect. Rovnak drilled it. She's five for nine from the strike, tried to make it six for 10. And she missed. Loose ball, picked up by Lisbon. Ball in the hands of Pisano. 95-94, Columbiana. Smith, outside to Olstrom. And of course, they give it to Carly Pisano. Pisano around to the right side, and a huge three at the end of the first overtime. Smith into the corner. Great take. Up and in for Bell. Bell takes advantage of the closeout. Able to get the high percentage. Bucket gives them a one-point lead with a minute and five to go. 96-95. Cross. Fights it up. It won't go. Cross is going to go to the free throw line. That foul will be tagged to Alexa Bell. Fourth foul on Bell. Now Cross will step to the line. She's been to the free throw line 21 times tonight, and she is connected on 13 of her free throw attempts. And she is now 13 for 22. Cross with one of the most emotional shots of the night at the end of regulation. Drilling a triple with the clock winding down. And she knocks that free throw up and in. 96-96. Carly Pisano has it over to the right side as we're inside of the final minute of double overtime. Pisano loses the handle. Out of bounds! Back to Columbiana. And there's some of that defense that we're used to seeing. A lot of times you got to make sure you use that sideline as another defender. And they get the turnover off the foot right there. Good call. 96 all clipper basketball. Rovnak slicing down the right side of the lane. Puts it up and in. And it is an offensive foul called. Okay, the first charge call we have tonight. We're going to see if that's the correct one. She bailed out. Bailed out, slid out. Again, should have been another block. 96 96. 37 seconds remaining. Lisbon across the time stripe into the forecourt. It's Smith. Smith trapped. Pisano. Far side corner. Ball out of bounds. Another turnover. Coach Back Mich to Columbia. Coach Michelle has two timeouts. Probably going to use one here to get everything set up and everyone in the right place. Timeout on the floor. 27.4 seconds left. 96-96. You want to talk about the WKBN 
game of the week. How about the game of the year? What a fantastic game. Chad, we're here any longer. I'm about to sleep at the station for tomorrow night. <laughs> I'm not planning on sleeping tonight now. I'll meet you over at Struthers. <laughs> we could maybe just head over there right now. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone from Salem would miss me. <laughs> I'm sure they would. Yeah, as you heard from someone in the stands tonight. Yeah, right. All right, here's the situation. 27.4 seconds left. 96, 96 in double overtime. If you are head coach Ron Michella, you'd imagine you're going to wind this thing down and take the last shot, right? Yeah, you're going to wind it down. Rovinac's going to have the ball. You've been successful of getting cross the ball at the foul line. So probably with about 10 seconds, you're probably going to see cross at some point. If Lisbon lets them get cross at the foul line area, let her square up, take it to the rack, get the foul, possibly get the bucket, shoot it with about seven seconds. And if you can get... The, the miss and the putback, that's what you're looking for if you don't make it. 22 seconds. Rovnak working it into the paint. Rovnak fights it up and in off the glass. Or take the easy first available one that you can get. Izzy Perez with the ball on the right side. Inside of 10 seconds left, there's a whistle and a Columbiana foul. I think they just got Brittany Mook. And that'll be her first. And tell you, tell you what, Chad, I don't hate that foul. Izzy Perez is one of five from the foul line. The you know, coaches aren't happy with it right now, but she's one of five, so it's not a horrible foul putting her at the line right now. Perez, with Lisbon trailing by two, puts the free throw up and good, and it's 98-97. So again, big opportunity here for Perez. And right now she's two of six from the line. Perez misses the free throw. Rebound, Columbiana. Clock winding down. Alexis cross with the rebound. And she is fouled. And, and senior Brittany Mook right there is probably a great job. Coach Moss doesn't like it, but I'm sure he's going to smile a little bit now. And it's not over. So again, if she ma cross makes two of these, you're up three. You cannot let her or Lisbon, if you get up three, get this three off. Seven and a half seconds left. We have seen drama at its best here tonight. It is 98-97, Columbiana with a one-point lead. As you said, even with a couple of free throw makes, this one still is not yet over. And, and Cross right now is, is putting on a performance. She's got 39 points to go along with nine rebounds, four steals, and four assists. And none bigger than these two right now. And if you're Lisbon, you're planning for every single scenario that comes out. If she makes one, if she makes both, you know, what shot are we looking for? Maybe a screen in transition to get the three off if you need it. But seven and a half seconds, Chad, is an eternity. Keep in mind, Lisbon out of timeouts now in double overtime. And so you've got to get your ducks in a row, which they evidently have. They have, and, and Columbia has one timeout and the possession arrow. 98-97. Columbiana's undefeated record on the line. Cross, free throw, up, short. It stays a one-point ball game, 98-97. Cross trying to split the pair and make this a two-point ball game. Cross up, short, loose ball, out of bounds, and it'll belong to the Clippers. Another huge play that can't go unnoticed. Brittany Mook, scrappy enough to get that bucket and make sure they get the ball. Ball is in, shot off the bottom of the backboard. Loose ball out front, and the ball game is over. Columbiana is the outright ITCL White Tier Champion. Some big plays down the stretch by the senior with the foul and able to get the 50-50 ball. Puts Columbiana on top with the double overtime win. Final score here tonight and double overtime. Columbiana, 98. Lisbon, 97. We'll wrap it up when we come back 
You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Wake up, baby. Twisted criminals. Boyfriend or husband. Bizarre cases. This was a more frenzied attack. Nine stab wounds around the chest area. Solving crime never looked this good. When might be interrogated by you? I've heard that line like four million times. When it comes to cleaning up the streets of Boston. This is who I am. This is what I do. Now get me in there. He did it. And I know where the proof is. It's ladies first. Rizzoli and Isles. Sunday at 11 on MyYTV. Introducing for 2017, the Preston Advantage from Preston Mazda and Boardman. Purchase a new vehicle from Preston Mazda and Boardman and receive a free lifetime engine warranty, free oil changes, free loaner vehicles and car washes for service, and our three-day return and exchange policy. Lease a 2017 Mazda 3 for $158 a month or a 2016.5 Mazda CX-5 for $198 a month. The Preston Advantage from Preston Mazda and Boardman. The fact that the Newcastle School of Trades stresses the importance of soft skills is very important. The ability to communicate with our customers creates trust and credibility, which is paramount in this industry. I feel the partnership with Newcastle School of Trades and Johnny K's Power Sports will help us strengthen our position by providing us with qualified technicians and service writers to help us meet our customer demands. Newcastle School of Trades, where, where employers, employers and, and graduates, graduates come, come together. together. Visit us at ncstrades.edu or call now. Great food is closer than you think. Take the short drive south on Route 11 to the Lisbon Rogers exit where you'll find the new Shale Tavern and Grill Lisbon. The new Shale Tavern and Grill has a tavern room and grill room, both with beautiful stone fireplaces, a full bar, and a menu to please everyone. Try the tavern salad, haystack onion blossom, ribs, steaks, pasta, and half-pound black Angus burgers, or one of the daily specials. The new Shale Tavern and Grill, just off Route 11 in Lisbon, next to the Days Inn. You'll be glad you made the short drive. And the celebration is underway in full swing as Columbiana, in thrilling fashion, double overtime, defeats Lisbon by a final score of 98 to 97. The Clippers are the outright ITCL white tier champions. Welcome back. Chad Krispinski with you. So pleased to be joined by our player of the game. What a ball game for Alexis Cross. 39 points, including a huge triple at the end of regulation. Nine rebounds, four assists, and four steals. And first of all, you are giddy. You are excited. You are thrilled. Yeah. Tell me about the emotion with a huge victory like this. Well, I love my team, and my team always wants to win and the emotion we have and the, how much heart we play with it just shows and we never gave up we were down 11 and we came back and that shows how much heart we have you guys were down in this one 12 was the biggest deficit what was the message in the huddle as you were going through that trying to work your way back in um just take it to the basket get them to foul us um keep pounding keep pounding and then eventually it works so you guys claim with this win the ITCL title. You clinched a share of it last week. Yeah. Now you know you're the outright champs. What's that mean to you? Feels good. We've had a share it the last two years, so it's nice to have it all for ourselves. Tell me about that shot at the end of regulation, down three. Take me through that because <laughs> I think everybody was expecting this game maybe to be over at that point. You had some other thoughts. Take me through that. Well, I was 0 for 4 the whole game, so I just did what I know how to do, and I shot it, and it went in, luckily. Well, the undefeated season is still intact. It is. 20 wins overall. You're now 7-0 and in the ITCL white tier. How good can this team be as you inch ever closer to tournament play? Well, we just keep getting better. We practice hard every time. Sadly, we lost a player the other day, and it was really good to see that we won the, We won this for her. She really is always cheering on the bench, and I know that our whole team... Which player is that? Up, uh, Taylor Hall. Okay. Number 23. All right. She tore ACL. Okay. Sadly. <laughs> but she's a really good player, so it was good to see that everybody stepped up, and they knew they had to fill some shoes, so... Well, a huge win here tonight. Congratulations, 39 points yes. as Columbiana comes through with a huge win in double overtime by one single solitary point. Final score of 98 to 97. The Clippers are ITCL champions. When we come back, we'll visit with Clippers head coach Ron Michella 
And that's next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Do you have trouble falling asleep? Do you toss and turn all night or wake up with a sore neck or headache? Then it's time you discovered my pillow. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of my pillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. Ten years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I'm giving you a very special offer on MyPillow Premium. Use this promo code and I'll give you 30% off when you order at MyPillow.com or call this 1-800 number now. Other pillows go flat, causing you to fold them over or use your arm for support, which can cause pain. Hard foam pillows can raise your head too high, making you very uncomfortable. But the revolutionary MyPillow has patented fill that won't go flat and keeps your neck supported and aligned to your exact individual need. MyPillow helps you get and stay in deep sleep all night long. Before MyPillow, sleeping was a nightmare. First night I got it, slept like a baby. Just was out, completely out. I sleep better. I wake up, I feel refreshed, I feel healthy. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Call or go to mypillow.com now to order a my pillow premium, and Mike will give you 30% off. This offer is only available online or when you call this number. Use the promo code on your screen and you'll save 30%. MyPillow comes with an unprecedented 60-day money-back guarantee. Order now. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. And welcome back to Lisbon, where we just saw, not just from my estimation, the game of the week. I think it's the game of the year. Columbiana in double overtime, edging Lisbon by a final score of 98 to 97. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, so pleased to be joined by Clippers head coach Ron Michella. And coach, we talked about it. Uh, you're exhausted. I'm exhausted. Yes. What's the emotion following a game like that that had absolutely everything in it? There, there were so many uh, changes of score. You know, they were up by 11, 14, and then we came back and we went up and then they came back. It was one of those games. I thought they played exceptionally well. I thought our defense was exceptionally poor. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to work on that. And we were playing kids that uh, really don't play varsity, but they stepped up for us. And I was pretty happy with the young ones. With the win, of course, so many big shots, but you now seal up the ITCL White Tier Championship. That undefeated record still intact, 20 and 0. This is a special group. Why is this special from your perspective? Oh, it's special because really we never came out with that goal. Our goal was to win the league. And um, they're the kind of kids that come out and work hard. They really get after it in practice. And the other day, they didn't get after it in practice. And I released them early to the locker room, and then we had a discussion about it. But when we went in the locker room, we were down by 11, I think. Were we down by 11 or 12? Yep. And I said, look, we're a good team. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to fold here. And they came back roaring back, and they played hard, and I was really happy with them. And uh, they're the kind of kids that do extremely well in the classroom. I'm so proud of them. And then they do extremely well in the basketball court. They don't know a lot of basketball as I'm <laughs> teaching it during the game, but um, they're getting better at it. They're getting better. Coach, you've been around a lot of <laughs> great games, a lot of great teams. i got to ask you, where does this game, based on how it played out, the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows. Where does this rank all time in, in your list of memories? Probably my, this, this could be the second. We played Cleveland uh, Collinwood at the at regionals and uh, we were down by 15 and then we go up by 10. It was a triple overtime and we won the <laughs> regional. I mean, uh, we won the uh, first round of the regional and I was really proud of those girls. These are the same type of girls. They, they like basketball. I've never had a problem with them. Uh, they get along extremely well. 
They tell me where I'm supposed to be at certain times because I'm losing my mind. But I've got two great captains in uh, Brittany Mook and uh, Mariah Rovnak. They're the greatest captains, and they keep this team together. There's no inner fighting. There's nothing like that. It's, it's all about the team, and they extremely love each other. They really do. Well, Coach, we were so thrilled to be here to see this classic. It's an instant yeah. classic for sure. It was. Best of luck. Tournament time is right around the corner. We right. know you guys are right in the mix for yeah. a big things in the tournament. Right. This was good for girls basketball. And, Chad, I appreciate it. And your assistant, whose job I'm going to take next year. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm really proud that you came and watched this game. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Great job tonight. God bless you. Columbiana head coach Ron Michella as the Clippers come away with a one-point victory over Lisbon, 98. 297. We'll wrap it up when we come back. Watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Are you tired of paying expensive cable or satellite bills month after month? Now you see them. Now you don't. You don't need expensive cable or satellite anymore. All you need is the free TV key from Clear TV. Now you can watch your favorite broadcast network shows for free. That's right, forget about paying hundreds of dollars a year for satellite or cable-only channels. The free TV key hides behind your TV and is easy. Just plug it into your TV's cable input. No wires, no unsightly antennas. Your television will instantly receive top-rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events, and more, all for free in vivid HD and digital signal. If we're just off the coast here in the Gulf of Mexico receiving free network broadcast HDTV, imagine all the free channels the TV key can unlock for you. Thanks to a federal government mandate, all broadcasters are required to broadcast a digital TV signal through the airwaves. Cable and satellite services can cost you up to $80 a month. That's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10-year period. With the free TV key, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Watch again. Just plug it in and get free TV. Call or go online now to get your free TV key HD digital antenna for just $19.99. I took my free TV key out of the box, plugged it into the cable input, and now I get to watch all my favorite broadcast channels for free. This compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for a college dorm room or boat, or on your RV. And forget about paying monthly fees for extra receivers. Order right now and you can add a second free TV key. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two free TV keys, a $40 value, all for only $19.99. Not available in stores. Order now. The fans who are still here at Lisbon are still a buzz after what we saw here tonight a double overtime thriller Columbiana coming away with the victory by a final score of 98 to 97. Hi again everybody Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik and we talked about it we're absolutely exhausted I can't even imagine what these players are what both sides Lisbon and Columbiana truly put on a show tonight instant classic yep Chad instant classic and the great part about this game it's the regular season and it doesn't end your season and an opportunity for both teams to be objective look at the tape figure out what they did right what they did wrong and keep getting better because we're gonna be in tournament time real quick for both sides obviously this is a chance to see where you are as you're just a couple of weeks from postseason play but again that's going to help you once you get to the big stage of, of districts and, and hopefully for these teams, regionals and so on. Absolutely. You know, teams like Columbia and Lisbon, I'm sure there's a lot of games that aren't close. And any time that you can get in these type of games where you've got to make plays, get after it, Coach Michelle right there going over with uh, Tom Williams, great job by that guy getting his team where they need to be to come out with a hard-fought victory on the road. Let's take a look at our final box score from this one, and you can't say enough about what the big frontliners did for both teams. Alexis Cross with a game-high 39 points. Unbelievable. The biggest shot coming from her at the end of regulation to tie things up and send it to the first overtime. Kayla Maslovsky for the Clippers started very hot, 28 points, roared out of the gates was a little bit quiet offensively in the second half. 
Can't say enough about on the other side for Lisbon. Carly Pisano, what she did. Of course, she sent us to the second overtime with a huge three, and it was a picture-perfect shot. She finishes with 35 points. Mackenzie Mason with 22 before she fouled out. Alexa Bell, likewise in double figures, with 11. With the victory tonight, 98-97, the Clippers improved to 20-0, and 7-0 in the ITCL white tier. Lisbon, meanwhile, drops to 14-3 overall and 4-3 and in conference play. So, Columbiana completes the season sweep in the head-to-head -head series, but when you see how this game played out, it truly could have gone either way. Could have gone either way. Just a few possessions. If they bounce Lisbon's way, they possibly come out on top. But give Columbiana credit. They were able to fight back from that 12-point deficit mm -hmm. and just claw back. And with the game plan that they had of getting crossed to the foul line, getting contact, and going to the free throw line worked perfectly for Columbiana. Okay, let's take a look at the Clippers here as we kind of wind things down now. They're an undefeated team. You alluded to it earlier in the telecast. You said, look, with that undefeated record comes two things, a bullseye and some pressure. What do you like about what Ron Michelle's team has been able to do with what you saw tonight? What I like is, is the confidence that they play with, the attitude that they play with. You know, at no point did you see a look in their face like, oh, man, we're in trouble here. They had that same type of attitude, the same facial expressions. Nothing changed the entire night. You know, again, almost felt like that inner quiet confidence. Hey, we got this. And the thing about this Colombiana team is you and I looked at that roster. It is a very young roster. Yeah. This team playing games like this is only going to get better and better and better. And you look ahead two years or so down the road, this team's dangerous now. It's going to be really dangerous down the road. Yeah, you can make some noise now. You don't have to wait. But like you said, very young roster that are making a lot of noise right now. You stay on task, you're going to get a lot better. And you take a look at Lisbon on the other side. This is a group that's going to make some noise. They suffered that loss to Latonia last week. They came out like gangbusters tonight. They're going to be in the mix when this is all said and done. You know, and Lisbon, I love what they do. What a fantastic job of coming out, taking it to Columbiana right away and not backing down. You know, they had a lot of fight in them tonight. Just one or two more mistakes and a couple plays that didn't go their way, but they're right on task, too. Was a lot of fun here tonight. We saw a double overtime thriller. Columbiana coming away with a 98-97 victory for our statistician, Ray Klempe, and my broadcast partner, Will Klusenik. My name is Chad Krispinski, thanking you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this one in girls basketball. Final score, Columbiana, 98, Lisbon, 97 in double overtime. Till next time, so long, everybody.